Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how to color correct to achieve a flawless face. So just like in fashion and beauty, there are certain trends that come and go, some you will never see ever again, and then there are certain techniques that sort of find popularity every so many years. That's really the case with color correcting, which is a huge trend right now in beauty. I think just about every single brand that we carry at Nordstrom offers some sort of color corrector or set of correctors. There can be four, five, six different shades, purple, yellow, red, green, it's honestly a bit overwhelming, so I wanted to break it down as easy as possible and show you the three correctors offered by Chanel because this is really all you should ever need and they're very easy to use and easy to work into your daily routine. They are officially called Le Corrector to Chanel, so exactly the same as the concealers. They also retail for $43 and the packaging is identical to the concealers. But not to be confused, there are a lot of similarities, however, these serve completely different purposes. They have a gel-based texture with soft focus pigments, and it's available in rose, green, and apricot. I'm going to start by talking about the green color corrector, and it says it right on the bottom of the tube. This is to correct redness, so if you have a lot of blemishes, perhaps post blemish marks that are still red and inflamed, if you have broken capillaries, if you have rosacea, this would be the purpose for using the green color corrector. So a few ways that I like to use it, I'll dab a little bit of the product around my nose where I tend to get hormonal redness, and then I will even dab a little bit on my chin. So because it is a gel, lightweight texture, you can easily blend it out with your fingers or a synthetic brush is what I would recommend because this is going to pick up any excess product. A couple tips, so a little bit goes a long way which on the one hand is great news because it's a $43 price point. This should last you a very long time. You don't want to cover the entire area. So if you have a blemish, you just maybe dab a little bit on there and then blend it out with your fingers. If you're dealing with broken capillaries or perhaps rosacea, do a couple little dabs, blend it out. If you need to go in with a little bit more, I would do a couple bit more dabs and then blend and then go as needed. You don't want to cover the entire surface area because it's just going to be too much product. And what can sometimes happen is that if you use too much color corrector underneath your foundation, it ends up looking muddy or ashy or kind of dirty even. It gives you a totally different tone. It might take away the redness completely, but you're not left with natural skin color. So you want to just use a little bit at a time and then build up from there. Next I'm going to talk about the apricot color corrector. This is probably the most popular or at least the most widely available across all brands and that is because this is to color correct dark circles underneath the eyes. So the orange undertone is going to color correct purples or blues. You can also use it for any sort of hyperpigmentation spots. So if you have a particularly large dark spot that has maybe a bluer purple looking undertone, this can help color correct before you go on with your concealer or your foundation. So just like the green color corrector, it's incredibly pigmented, so you only need to use a teeny tiny little bit of product. It should last you a very long time, especially under the eyes, because you don't want to build up too much product there. It's going to cake, it's going to settle into fine lines. So really be careful. Use your fingers to blend this out or a synthetic brush, which will help you pick up any excess product. So the way I typically use this is I'll dab maybe one, two, three tops, little kind of dabs underneath my eyes, and then I blend it out before I go in with my concealer foundation. I generally don't struggle too much with dark circles. Um, of course, if I'm incredibly dehydrated, if I'm exhausted and tired, yes, I can see them. But for somebody who has hereditary dark circles underneath their eyes and it's that really dark kind of purpley blue undertone, this is going to be perfect for you because it's really going to help cancel out that blue, that purple, so that it brings you back to a more even, flawless complexion. Last but certainly not least is my favorite, and this is the Rose Color Corrector. So this is to brighten any sort of dullness on the skin. You can use it as a highlighter. All three color correctors can be worn underneath or over foundation, according to Chanel.com. I will 
honestly recommend that you use them underneath except for the rose. This can absolutely be used on top of your foundation. You can use this as a highlighter, all of the center points of the face, so down the bridge of the nose, the chin, maybe the center of the forehead. I'll sort of use it underneath my eyes to blend out my concealer as well to give you just that extra sort of brightness. If you're somebody who maybe has a sallow or more green undertone or perhaps you're not feeling well, perhaps you just are dealing with some dullness, you can actually do a couple dots on the cheek and blend that out to just kind of bring some rosiness and a healthy glow back to the skin as well. One of my favorite ways to wear this color corrector is to mix it with my concealer. So also if you are incredibly fair toned, you could use the rose corrector as your concealer. This is the number 10. It is the lightest concealer from Chanel. And to be honest, it's not necessarily going to be light enough for somebody who is very, very porcelain fair. So what you can do, you can either use this in place of your concealer, or you can mix them together, which gives you just extra brightness. It looks so beautiful, it photographs really nicely, and it just gives you that really pretty highlighted under eye that's very popular right now. Of course, I couldn't do a color correcting video without mentioning the CC cream, which I know by now has been mentioned several times on my channel, especially since they reformulated. I picked up the new one and I love it. I've been using it ever since underneath my makeup as a primer, and the difference is truly incredible. So if you're somebody who is dealing with extreme hyperpigmentation or redness, you can go in with your color correctors first and then use a little bit of CC cream, blend it out with your fingers or a synthetic brush to help pick up any excess to give you that extra boost before you go in with your foundation. Now, you don't need to achieve that perfectly flawless face with the CC cream. A little bit is going to be all you need so that it doesn't feel cakey or heavy. These are just kind of prep steps to help prime the skin before your foundation so that you don't have to use as much product. I want to quickly touch on the concealers since I mentioned them. These also retail for $43. They share the same name, Le Corrector de Chanel, but these are going to be best for tone on tone correcting. So if you have a spot on your face that you want to cover up, perhaps you have a little darkness under the eyes but nothing too extreme, you can just use the shade that best matches your natural skin tone. So they've expanded the shade range. They're now available in eight different shades. There's still the 10, 20, 30. There's a 32, which was previously number 31. It's that beige rose, so anybody with a pink undertone. There's 40, they nixed 42, and then they added 91, 121, and 132. So there's three darker shades. So just about everybody should be able to find a good concealer for a spot correcting in a tone on tone color correcting type of way. You can also use these underneath the eyes, as a lid primer. There's multiple different ways that you can use these concealers, but they will color correct if perhaps you don't have extreme redness or extreme dark circles. You just go in with your typical concealer. And that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me any of your comments, your questions, your video requests down below. I will be linking all of the correctors as well as all of the makeup that I have on my face today down in the description box in case you're curious. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe.